Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for yet another planner video. As always, it's your girl Daniela, aka Four Lizard, aka the Planning Diva. And I hope wherever you are, whenever you are, you're having a wonderful weekend. It's currently Saturday afternoon here in Southern California in sunny San Diego. And I've had a very lazy Saturday morning. I went to go pick up an aquarium that I got off Facebook Marketplace, took that back home, um, uh, cleaned up a little bit around in my backyard um, before I had to head off back to the house. I'm currently house sitting for a friend and cat sitting and now I'm just uh, I oh I went to go I went on a walk to the beach um, the one nice thing about cat sitting is that it's uh, the house is really close to the beach so I'm able to go um, walk along the beach um, pretty frequently which is nice but anyways um, I'm here to set up my academic planner for the upcoming week and I use a happy planner vertical and um, it's one of the sections in this mega happy planner here my happy planner solar system so if you're interested in seeing me set up my academic happy planner uh, just keep on watching So I am loving my new planner cover. I just switched it up for the current month, the month of November. I had another planner cover before um, and then I decided to switch it up with the new month. So I'm so excited. Uh, I've, I've been really loving my new planner setup. So I'm just gonna flip to my academic section, although I do wanna make a note that I tend to check my yearly, like my yearly calendar as well as like my monthly calendar view uh, before I start setting up my weekly spread. So I just wanted to glance at that real quick. But let me flip to um, the planner section. So I'll just quickly kind of flip through these pages. Um, so this happy planner is my mega happy planner. I call her my mega happy planner because I have seven different planners, Frankenplanned, combined into this one planner. And I'm able to do that thanks to the disc bound system, which allows you to um, customize your planners. And I have my solar system table of contents here. And um, I have seven different planners in this particular happy planner. And I have seven in this other mega happy planner which uh yes i am that bitch but let me uh jump to my academic section here all right here we go here's my academic section uh, so this is my academic section here i'm in my last year of my doctorate at uc san diego so that's why i made this super cute cover for this section the liberation of chichi viva la diva from her doctorate so chichi viva la diva is my drag name that's the persona i i, I channel when i need that extra mm, the extra fire and passion and don't give a fuck attitude uh so sometimes i really need to have that like in graduate school because graduate school is sometimes just so overwhelming that it's and and soul crushing at times that it is it is very easy to um to kind of slip into like negative self-thinking and so i really try to kind of boost myself um emotionally mentally whenever possible so that is why i have this super cute uh cover page the liberation uh, because i am really trying to uh, leave graduate school graduate this year and just move on from that this exhausting phase in my life anyways i'm a little bit <laughs> i'm a little bit i'm a little bit over graduate school in case you can't tell but i have my scrapbook paper here there is always something to be thankful for i like having that in my academic section because i always i always have to remind myself that it is such a privilege to be able to attend graduate school because it's not something that everyone gets to do and then we have my class schedule here again i don't take classes anymore but i like to structure my days and my 
my hourly schedule in terms of classes because I have so many projects going on. I kind of treat each project like a separate class and then I attend my classes in a very consistent style. It helps me to organize my time and I just love I love school, that's why I'm in graduate school, and I love feeling like I have a class schedule. It really does help me, to. it motivates me, and I have on the back of that um, class schedule, my hourly schedule, where I, uh, s this is how I set up my, um, my time. And I actually might have to redo this because I finished a class, finished a class, I finished a project, and so I don't need to have that class anymore. So maybe I'll update this. But we have here just more scrapbook paper, uh, fall themed scrapbook paper. And on the back of that, I have paper clipped to it, the November overview. And I actually just set this up. I kind of want to get into the habit of recording these and filming these and sharing these with you when I do them. But they take me a little bit of time to do. Be Not that it takes me time to like do all this but i just have to think through it like i have to think through what um i want to get done this month and these are these are um like big picture goals for me my academic goals i have these four major projects that i really want to finish this month and so i kind of set up this uh monthly overview as like a dashboard uh for the month and i have important dates here on the bottom and then we have the november uh divider and this is my november calendar view i really like how this one turned out it's super cute and then this is the current week it's currently saturday the 6th and i used these super cute woodland uh, animal stickers from a recollections sticker book woodland friends uh so cute so cute i'm really happy with how this one turned out and i'm going to be setting up this week for the upcoming week the 8th through the 14th so let's get into it so i really have no idea what i want to do for this week i have here my sticker storage book that um that i have just like a bunch of stickers in here so i'm definitely going to pull for some of these and i also have a bunch of random stickers that i've uh just kind of collated into this sticker pack i have like maybe six or seven different sticker books from the happy planner in here but these are just like the res the residual leftovers of all those sticker books so it's kind of hard for me to make a spread from scratch with these stickers especially since two of these are like gardening sticker books and then i have like colorful boxes uh i think i have one page left of pastel rainbow and then i have a few glam girl sticker books i mean sticker pages which uh, that sticker book was not my favorite and then this one was i think happy quotes i have farmhouse sticker book sticker pages uh, wellness sticker pages and then i think i have one like a few pages of this dream seeker uh, sticker book but these are just like the dregs of leftover sticker books and i'm really trying to get through as many sticker books and sticker pages as i possibly can and to you know just use up what I have so I really have no idea what I want to do <laughs> I might go for um, like a bright citrusy like I might use these stickers actually uh, yeah why don't we use these yeah let's go for it we'll use these we'll use these stickers and then um, we'll just pull from any from like this sticker storage book for anything else I need, particularly for boxes and checklists. So okay, yeah, let's get into it. So actually, right now I'm pulling up my laptop uh, because I need to check to see what's going on in my Google Calendar um, for the upcoming week. I always check my Google Calendar and my monthly calendar here. So let's see. Uh, okay, it's the week of the 8th through the 12th. So let's see what's going on. 
So uh, registration for winter quarter opens up on the 8th. It's week 7. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Uh, we have a shutdown of electricity in the building on the 9th. Veterans Day on the 10th. And then the Autism Tree Project Global Neuroscience Conference uh, on Friday. So... I'm gonna check here too, okay. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's all that I have going on. Let me check my Google Calendar as well. Mm. Oh, okay, we have a meeting on the 12th. All right, good thing I checked my Google Calendar. Okay, good thing I checked my calendar because I had something on Wednesday that I needed to attend. So let's see. Okay, so I have a meeting on Wednesday, a conference on Friday. I also have to plan out three days of uh, behavioral experiments. So I'm thinking of doing those Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because I do want to attend that conference on Friday. And that's going to be an all day affair. It's virtual, but it's going to be an all day affair. So I might have to take my meeting in the middle of behavioral experiments, which is gonna be annoying. Um, all right, I think I figured it out. I think I'm gonna do my behavioral experiments Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and I'll just have to take a break at noon to take that meeting. So let me, I always uh, grab some uh, sticky notes, um, to pre-plan. So let me flip back to my academic section. So, ah, I lost a sticky note, but okay, Wednesday. What happened to the sticky note? I totally just lost a sticky note. I have no idea where it went. Okay, let's pull for another one. So, uh, okay, there we go. So on Wednesday, I had a meeting at 12 p.m. And then I have uh, an autism conference all day. Okay, so now that I have all that decided, let me start laying down stickers. Oh, you know what? I think it would be cool to use a citrus washi tape. Um, so I have these oranges and this like fruit washi tape. I, I'm kind of, oh, I kind of want to use, I kind of want to use this washi tape, but I kind of want to finish up this washi tape. So let me use this one. I always get so excited when I am close to finishing a washi tape. This one is like an orange themed washi tape and it has like an interesting cut to it. But one thing that annoys me about this washi tape is that you have to peel it up really carefully because it will um, rip at the slightest provocation. So let me just lay this down here on the edge and get to start decorating. Let's less talking more decorating. I have my coffee here, um, so you know I'm gonna get chatty today. But let me know how you are doing in the comments down below. I really enjoy it when you comment and you share, you know, whatever it is you're up to in the comments down below. Like, I really appreciate that because it makes me feel like I have friends. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm just not this random crazy person talking into the ethernet, if you know what I mean, talking into the matrix. Um, it makes me feel like I am actually talking to people, if that makes any sense. So please, please, please let me know how you're doing in the comments down below. I would really appreciate it. So let me put down this grapefruit right there. I love how that looks. And then maybe this, this lemon up here. Ooh, very cute. I love it so much already. Yes, trust and believe. Let me put this one, maybe this one here. Okay, so um, I'm gonna leave 
I'm gonna leave these as sticky notes because these behavioral experiments are really dependent on the weather and on just how my week is going um, because they're just they take up so much time they take up they take all day and sometimes I'll be forced to kind of push one later or push one you know even till next week so I'm just gonna leave these as sticky notes because I want to be able to move them around. Okay, so let me put down some checklists. So I'm gonna go into my uh, sticker storage here and I'm gonna pull for some of these gold foil checklists. I'll put one on a Monday. I love checklists for my academic planner. These are essential, absolutely essential. I'm gonna put one on Tuesday and then I'm going to put one, let's see, on Wednesday here. Perfect. Oh, I totally messed up that sticky note. Okay, so I've set that up. For some reason, I really like kind of uh, decorating the space here in the top left as kind of like uh, the theme of the overall spread. So like in this spread, I put the sticker that says Woodland Friends up here because it was the theme of the entire spread. So I kind of want to put like these lemons up here. And yeah, because it's going to be a citrus spread. So let me add another grapefruit, maybe, ah, hmm. you know what, let me, let me think about that. Let me add some more checklists before I get, or maybe boxes, hmm, yeah, I might add a box instead. I'm gonna, I think, replace this sticky note with an actual box. So let's see, what box do I want to pull for? You know what? I like this particular um, box here. I think the green is really nice. And what I might do, what I might do here is reach for my scissors and cut off one box and replace this sticky note with this box here and then these two boxes I'm gonna place and oh my goodness I just realized I don't know if I can do experiments on Thursday because I have lab meeting okay so a couple things <laughs> I just realized I can't do experiments on Thursday because I have two meetings on Thursday that I really don't want to reschedule or miss and so what I might end up doing is I might have to do the experiments on Monday Tuesday and Wednesday and have my meetings on Thursday. Let me overlap this box a little bit with these limes like that. Yes, that's nice. So I might have to do that. And then that way I'm done by Thursday and I can go to this conference on Friday. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to have to do the experiments Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And on Friday, I think I'm going to, um, I'm gonna lock in that conference because I do really wanna go to that conference. So let me find the box to write that down. Pulling for a box here. Oh, I could use, maybe I should use this box here with the, with the grapefruits. Okay, let's pull for that, we can get rid of that sticky note and then there we have the box I can write down the conference there and what I might end up doing is okay so I'm gonna pull up this um, this checklist I'm gonna drop it down 
here to the bottom because there are still some things I want to get done on Monday and then I'll replace this with um, the sticky note. Perfect. All right, and then I'm gonna pull for these two stickers here. These are from some random sticker book um, that I got at Michael's on clearance. And they're just uh, kind of like uh, small boxes. And I'm just gonna use these to write meeting on the top of these two boxes here. So I think I'll put one right there because I have a meeting that day. And then I have two meetings this day. So I'll just put like meetings and I'll write down the meeting details in these boxes here. I wanna add more checklists, so I'm going to flip back to my checklist page. Here we go. And add some more of those gold foil uh, checklists. So I have a couple left here, so I'll pull for them. I'm gonna add one up here on Thursday. Oh, actually, no, because or should I? Yeah, I'll add, I'm gonna add this one here on Thursday and I'm gonna have to trim it a little bit, I think, because it's gonna overlap with this meeting box just a little bit and I don't like that. So we're gonna trim it just a little bit there. And lastly, one last checklist for Friday. So I'll pop this one and again, I might have to trim this one because we're gonna, we're not gonna be able to fit it all in the box, but three bullet points is fine. I might even add another one for this little space here. So let me find the checklist again. Here we go, let's pull one up. Pop it down here. Oops, let's try to get it aligned here. That's fine. There, so we have six bullet points for that day. And I always kind of struggle with decorating Saturday and Sunday because I tend to use up so much space Monday through Friday in the work week. And then obviously Saturday and Sunday, I don't work or I try not to work. Sometimes I will do a couple of things Saturday and Sunday. And sometimes I'll even work the whole day on Saturday, but that's because I took like a full day off during the week. I don't anticipate doing that this week. So I tend to leave like Saturday and Sunday pretty empty, but I also don't like to leave it empty because it looks weird um, in terms of like the overall aesthetic. So let me try to, uh, what can I do? What's a good thing to kind of decorate with? Um, maybe a quote. I could add a quote maybe, let's see. How about this yellow one? Take time to make your soul happy. That's always an important reminder. Let's pull that one off. Is that too? That's fine, I like that. I like this black quote, done is better than perfect. I think that's an important reminder uh, for me when it comes to work. So let's put that down here. So I have three stickers left on this page and I do want to use them all. So maybe what I can do is, I don't know, does it look weird to have it here? And then we have another grapefruit sticker. I guess I don't have to use them all, but I do want to use them all. <laughs> Maybe, I feel like it's it's too close to this grapefruit for me to put it here. Maybe I could do them, like I could put them off the page so that it's not too weird looking. Like something like this. 
and then I could just trim off the excess. So that way it's not too overwhelming, but it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more decorated. And I could put, I could put these, the remainder of the sticker like at the top here. Like kind of like that. There's too much green on that page. How about up here? There we go, something like that. Okay, I'm happy with it. I think it looks fine. I kind of want to put something here, but again, Saturday and Sunday, I'm always a little bit like hesitant to do anything on those days because I feel like uh, I'm not going to be doing anything for work on Saturday and Sunday. And I don't want to, you know, put pressure on myself to do something on those days. So maybe a full box quote. Let's see. Like, I could do like a box. Uh, let's see. Living my best life. Maybe one of these bright full boxes. Hmm. I like the grow one. The grow one or this this one down here. Maybe this one. I like the colors in this full box. And then I could put it I could put it right there. I like it so far. And you know what's something I want to do? I have these bee stickers that whenever I do behavioral experiments with my honeybees, I like to use these. It kind of like encourages me to <laughs> to complete the experiments. So uh, I'm in graduate school and when you're in graduate school, you have to like pick like something to study. And I study honeybee genetics and behavior. And that's why, um, that's why I have bee stickers is because I study honeybees and I work with them. And so there, I don't normally like work with the actual honeybee itself uh, most of the time because I'm more of a geneticist. Uh, and so I, I study their DNA and I'm on a computer studying their DNA. But I actually started to work on a project that, um, that required me to to work with the honeybees themselves and to study their behavior um, uh, in person. And so that required me to put on a bee suit so I don't get stung and study their behavior. And I really actually have enjoyed the project quite a bit because um, it's cool to, to work with honeybees and to see them behave and, you know, like up close and personal. And so, um, that's why I have these honeybee stickers, because I study honeybees. So I just have one left, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this one down. I'm going to have to get more bee stickers, because I use these bee stickers quite a bit. I've gone through several sheets of these bee stickers, because since I work with honeybees, I tend to use them a lot, especially when I go out and um, study their behavior. And yeah, so let me put another one. Maybe there's too many at the top, I feel. I think I have to like balance out, balance it out a bit. And it's perfect because honeybees are, I think one of the main pollinators of citrus plants. And so it's perfect. This is like a bee, honeybee citrus inspired theme. I love it so far. So I'm gonna go ahead now and like write down what I need to write down, um, including the things I wanna get done throughout the week in this little box here. And to do that, I'm going to be using my Lucky Cat Pen. I love this pen so much. It's such a fine tip and it's so smooth. And this little cat is just so adorable. I love it so much. So let's write down everything. All right, and just like that, I am finished with the spread. I hope you enjoyed that. And before I forget, I did want to share with you the actual planner that these pages are from. This is an undated Mickey Mouse planner, and I absolutely love this planner for my academic work because um, I really like that it has this to-do list and this grid box on the sidebar. 
Um, so this is actually an undated planner. So let me show you a, a, a undated page here or like an empty spread. So these, this is what the spread looks like or the pages look like before you write in it. And it's undated, which is fine. I don't mind dating it. I mean, I probably would have preferred an, a dated planner so that way I don't have to like date it all. But what I love about it so much is it has this to-do list and this grid box on the sidebar. And I just love these two things, um, especially the to-do list. I wish the to-do list was um, bigger. Like I wish instead of this grid box, it just had like a long to-do list here on the side, but that might be too many to-do list items. And I wouldn't need like to add checklists throughout the days so maybe this is a good size I don't know but I really really love this format for my academics all right everyone um thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in my next video bye